Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today we are going to have a look at the progress on the Calibora online project. This is one, if you haven't seen it before, this will be the way that you integrate your documents like Google Docs, like Office 365, etc. Now, there's parts of this that will work just as good as those, and there's parts of it that don't quite yet. But the reason I want to talk about it is this project actually came out with a brand new desktop application, and I did want to have a look at it. Now, I'm not going to recommend everybody jump over to go ahead and install it and start using this when other options are available, because it does have some limitation to its features. However, the reason I want to talk about it is it is excellent progress towards something that could turn into something quite amazing. And so it's not quite there yet, but they released a desktop version in both the more modern rhythm ribbon type view, which is what I installed here. And they did also release a more classic one like LibreOffice. And they also released an Android app. And all of this came within the last couple months. And so there's things that don't work quite well on here, but that's okay. I kind of want to do this video just to show you kind of the progress of how things are going. And uh, that uh, it is possible to remove Office 365 and Google Docs from your life. Now, using Calibora online, and that's really where it started as a server. In fact, really early in the project, when I ran a really old, also early in the project version of Nextcloud almost a decade ago, and I actually set up a Calibora server allowing me to use LibreOffice effectively, which was Calibora, on my next cloud instance. Now I didn't end up using that a lot and it was kind of a pain to maintain at that point in time. So I kind of dropped it eventually, especially since it cost me an extra server a month to run. But in the new instances of Nextcloud, particularly the Nextcloud all-in-one instance, which is a very simple one-click install through DigitalOcean, you can create your own uh, your own Calibora server really quick without actually anything. And this is effectively what you get. This is on my Nextcloud instance, and this is full collaborative. If other people were logging in here at the same time, I would see their name up here as well, and I would be able to see them, and they can write on this document at the same time I can write on this document. You can see my little spelling error there. Let me fix that. Um, and what we see over here is I can run... Calibora here, and I have all of the basic layouts here to do any form of cloud work on this document. Of course, I can export this file, uh, PDF or an EPUB. I can save it. I can save it as, so I can go into these. I can download the file as our OTF and a variety of different uh, versions uh, of file file types. We have a basic navigator over here, uh, which there's no, really no navigation in this particular document. We have our style aspects over here. So this really is, is a nice feature that, that we have. The challenge that we have is we don't have a lot of really good ways to use this across different devices. And that really is, I think, where Calibora might be working to get towards. But they end up releasing the, uh, this is actually how to build it. If you wanted to build a server here, uh, you can actually go uh, code as at Calibora Online Development Edition. You just choose your operating system here, and uh, there's Ubuntu. You can just kind of follow along. This will create a Calibora server, and then you need some form of front end for it, which Nextcloud is the most popular. Now, they end up releasing uh, just uh, a couple of weeks ago, they end up releasing the uh, desktop application, which basically allows you to have a desktop version of exactly what you just see looking over here. Now, the thing is, is that this is a little bit more limited in function and use. It's a little bit harder to use being as that it's more based on, you know, HTML and JavaScript and things like that. Uh, whereas your LibreOffice does have more features and is in many ways a little bit easier to use. 
Of course, there's also Only Cloud. We'll talk about that one here a little bit as well. Uh, they also, though, just also released mobile apps. So uh, looking at the individual mobile apps, now you can grab it from F-Droid. And I think this actually requires a repository. I think you have to add a repository in F-Droid because I was not actually able to find this. There is a document reader over on F-Droid, but I didn't actually see one. So you can see here that uh, they just started releasing these and uh, uh, back in uh, October there. And you just want to grab whatever version is uh, relevant to your particular system. Here's your V8A, V7As. So make sure that you can figure out what your processor is. Uh, that was actually for me. It's like I didn't know exactly which processor it was for um, for my uh, Google Pixel here running Graphene OS. But uh, you know, with all that being said, <laughs> I did eventually uh, I did eventually get it uh, get it working there. So um, with that, uh, what I wanted to do is uh, have a look over here at the Calibora. Now on the uh, over here on the um, phone, it does actually sync a little bit better. It's not collaborative. Uh, in other words, if I go back over here to the NextCloud instance, multiple people could be logged into my NextCloud instance and be typing on this document at the exact same time. The Calibora Office app is not collaborative. In fact, in of itself, it does not have its own online connection. But if I go down here to open a file, I can choose to go into my next cloud instance and I can choose to open up an individual document. So if I go here and open up a document, then what it's going to do is it's going to grab the document here. And um, it actually, it doesn't look like, uh, let me check that. Oh, no, that's, that's good. That's right. I'm going to say, did I actually retrieve the latest version? Yes, it did, in fact, re retrieve the latest version. Now, there's a little edit button down here at the bottom. And when I do that, um, I can do, uh, let's see, we're going to do edit from graphene. Now, what you'll notice here, though, is that there's nothing going on on the uh, next cloud instance. So uh, when I go ahead and save this and I hit my check button there and it will exit the application. And then once it ends up exiting the application, if I go in here, reload uh, my system here, then uh, let's go ahead and pull this document back open. And uh, what you'll see down here is it will actually show up there and edit it. And so what we actually see is a system that because of the way that NextCloud works uh, with how phones work and such, then you'll actually see that the the system will actually uh, work kind of the way that uh, you might expect it to. It's just not collaborative. Now, the desktop application is a little bit jankier, and uh, we'll get into that one here. So if you go over here, you can grab your Windows, Mac, or Linux. The Linux version, what this is going to do is you can see it's just downloading a flat pack. Now, I already installed this. This is not in the FlatHub repository, and I didn't see a specific Calibora flat pack that you could put in. You probably, there might be one. Since this system has Warehouse installed, I just click, double clicked on the flat pack. And uh, if you're unfamiliar with Warehouse, we did a separate video on this. This actually allows you to manage all variety of things relating to your flat pack. So it just went ahead and installed it. And then uh, once it installed it, now it is available to access. So when I open this guy up here, then uh, we have the ability now to grab a, uh, basically write on a document utilizing the exact same system and UI as we saw online. Now, here's where we have a problem. This is Calibora, the application designed to mimic the Calibora online experience there is no remote connection. <laughs> okay. Now, I actually came in here and uh, I went in and I attached my NextCloud instance. So I can go into my NextCloud instance here and I can find the document on my server itself. And uh, if I go ahead and grab my document, which is this testing document here and select it, it will open it up. So now it says down here, the document is probably locked and has been opened as view only. There is a, effectively an edit document button over here, but it doesn't actually work. I can't actually type anything on the document. It is actually read only. And 
if I, I could open a copy, but that will not save the document the exact same way. So this application utilizing the online accounts access will not allow me to uh, sync the document or access the document, which kind of means that this application is very limited in its use and that while at one hand, when they go back to their notes here and it does make a really big deal about it is extremely private. Nothing from your computer goes up to the cloud, which is actually what very much like what I want. However, this is the one time I would love to see an ability to access a remote server since that really is the purpose. Now, whether it's collaborative or not, or whether it's not, uh, that doesn't matter to me as much. The good news is we have a basis this is the first time the application has been released. This is the very first version of it. Hopefully those remote uh, settings are coming down the pipeline. Uh, so like I said, I don't want to be too critical of it or sound like I'm being too critical of it because I do love what the project is doing. I just do find it interesting that the one feature of this program I might expect it to have is the ability to sync to my Calibora server. And it doesn't seem to have that functionality. <laughs> All right. Now, which is also funny because if I go into LibreOffice, LibreOffice actually has this ability. You can go into LibreOffice and utilizing remote servers. And I have this set up here, web diving into my setup. And uh, with this, uh, if you guys need to know how to do this, uh, I will mention it maybe in the comments here or I'll put it... Um, uh, maybe do a separate video, but because uh, uh, getting the remotes to work is actually not easy to do. But once you go ahead and get in here and open up the remote serve, you can now see that I can come in here and I can find those individual documents. And when I find these individual documents, we can go ahead and make any edits here in LibreOffice. Now it is slow, and that's one of the things to keep in mind because it's going to pull the document down. It's going to take a moment to do that, and then we'll have the ability to edit it here in just a moment. All right, so here we have our, our document. Here is a return edit from uh, LibreOffice uh, Remote Connect. All right, now we're going to save the document. And again, this will take a moment to save. So uh, because it is interacting live with the individual server. All right, so now that that's done, we'll go ahead and close LibreOffice and let's go back to our instance here. Let's refresh the uh, Nextcloud instance. It's loading the document. And now we have a return edit from LibreOffice Remote Connect. So again, it's not collaborative, but LibreOffice will work. Now, I did not actually have any luck with LibreOffice um, using the Nextcloud online account system. So if I go ahead and just open a document and I go down to my cloud server here, this is actually where I did have some problems. But I will say that... Um, what ended up happening is the Calibora crashed on my next cloud server and that has crashed a couple times in the past. So it's possible it was just a, a random instance. So let's go ahead and do a return edit from online accounts and we'll save this. This is where it crashed my server last time I tried. And so, is it actually working or not? Uh, let's go ahead and close it. Hey, maybe it did. Maybe it did actually work that time. So maybe that was just a, a random coincidental crash when I was doing this. So there you go. There's your return edit from online account. So that was, of course, using Linux Mint's online account system and utilizing your Nextcloud account, allowing you to sync your calendar contacts and your files into the system. So there is a very good uh, beginning of doing online uh, collaboration. Right now, though, LibreOffice appears to be the best application. There is the ability to connect a remote serve in uh, only Office, but for whatever reason, if I come down to find my next cloud instance and I type in my cloud instance here, uh, it will actually not find it. Oh, apparently it did find it this time. Interesting. Maybe I tried to access this after I um, 
uh, after the server crashed and I didn't know it. So maybe because I, it was curious because my old cloud server was working. Apparently the new cloud server wasn't. So we are now inside of only office. This is actually new ground for me because I didn't do this before. However, last time I tried to do it, it just tried to download the file. So it basically, it looks like it's just being a front end for a file exchange, not actually allowing me to access the files. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so if we go back down to testing Calibora, you can see here that it's not actually only Office that's allowing you to work. It's just basically turning it into a web shell, and we are actually using my Calibora server online. So while only Office does allow you to do the remote serves, it's not actually allowing me to do it in only Office. It is actually utilizing the Calibora system on my next cloud. So there's a couple of, uh, of interesting things to, to think about when we are looking at it. So Calibora online though, I really love what they're doing. We have the great foundational basis where everything web-based works and has worked for a good part of a decade. Like I said, I've been using this for the good part of a decade. Where we have some of the problems right now is interfacing and sharing the files easily on Linux between various open source applications, which again, the foundation is there, but not quite. Right now, Android, even on Graphene OS, seems to work pretty well, not collaboratively, but at least I can pull the documents from my Nextcloud instance, edit them on the phone, and then re, you know, just save them directly to the to the cloud. That's actually really good. The desktop application that they have uh, built here, it is very good in that it is uh, private and uh, nothing goes online to the internet, but that actually is kind of weird because this is the one application I would expect it to be able to easily access my online Calibora servers, but it doesn't yet do that. That's not an overall criticism. Like I said, this is the very first version they have released for the desktop. And uh, hopefully that is a feature that is coming soon. I would love to see that. And as soon as I hear about that, I will be doing another video doing more testing of this because these are systems I use. I legitimately do not use Google Docs. I do not use Microsoft Docs. I use Nextcloud and Calibora for any form of document sharing and collaboration I need to do. So I was excited when this came out and I'm not like, oh, this is horrible. Uh, this is the very first version of this application and I am going to be watching it very closely. Hopefully though, this gave you some other things to think about as well when you're looking at replacing big tech in your life. This is all private. My system is all on servers. I I own, I control. And so it's not to the point where uh, I, I can't say I, these are through DigitalOcean is what I'm doing. Um, but utilizing the next cloud through the encrypted methods, you know, I I'm still have full control over the server. If you did actually have a, a regular house and you had a server closet in there or some spare computers, you could run these in your house on actual hardware that you actually do control. Uh, that is an option for you if you wanted to. Uh, so just be aware of that. Uh, and so uh, with that, let me know your thoughts about that. Is there anything in this video you want me to expound upon, upon in the comments? Let me know those. I'd be glad to do some more videos uh, if you need to see more information about setting some of this stuff up, remote shares, setting up the next cloud instances and things like that. So let me know your thoughts about all those in the comments down below.